What is going on collectors optical 20 back for another video review today we are going to take a look at 3011 from stranger things i believe this is season one and you can order this figure at bigbadtoystore.com four dollar shipping pile of loot you can put it all ship it all at once um i'll put the link down below so this is the box the packaging of 30 is pretty cool because it, it doesn't take a whole lot of space honestly uh especially with this 11 because she's a uh, a more I, I would say slimmer figure uh doesn't have a base doesn't have tons of accessories so it does have a smaller footprint so if you are like myself who keeps the boxes uh then it would benefit you a lot because it would uh, it wouldn't take out too much space it doesn't the thing too is that with three zero they don't this is the bad part they don't come with shipper boxes and i know if you order from hong kong you're hot toys mostly does not have anyway but honestly it does help if i try to sell figures but with this it's okay you know not a big deal it's the price is also pretty good for three zero uh let's unbox this thing right here as you can see there's not a whole lot here you got two head sculpts a bunch of hands you got the ego right there at the corner like you, you get a few hands here uh that you could they're pretty expressive hands one is to hold the ego one is fisted hands but and then you get the separate uh, outfit like the hospital outfit towards the uh, end there but let's get this ego here it's no box so it's the actual ego but that's pretty much it so let's take a closer look at the accessories so you got again two fisted hands i would say those are the power magical hands two hands for the ego and i'm guessing those are choking hands kind of like darth vader uh you got the egos in there as well nicely sculpted nicely done it's made out of plastic uh it's pretty uh pretty sturdy as well it, it feels like i'm just gonna break it like an actual ego and this is l let me know in the comments if i'm correct here i haven't seen season one in a long time but is this like a choking gesture kind of like vader so to speak um, and then you got the nosebleed head sculpt, which I actually prefer than the actual head sculpt, than the default one that is included. And you got the hospital gown that is nice and dirty. And you, the, the ties in the back, you don't really need them. It is via Velcro. So you just attach it like so. But it is nice that you can change the outfit. And it's speaking of which, uh, let's take a look at her outfit here. So you saw the uh, unsightly knee in there also the, the high knee socks is there as well the outfit overall is pretty accurate from the film uh not the film the tv show and it just it, it drapes nicely you know you can i believe you can close the jacket although i'm not even gonna try because it's it's not accurate because i kind of researched this on google like i mentioned i haven't seen episode one in a long time that knee a lot of people are gonna cringe on that double jointed knee you got the all-stars chuck taylor's as well and she's bobbling there's no stand for this and you see there's no logo blink for licensing the socks is kind of dirty as well which is a nice touch at the back you see it's a good thing it's in the back because you see the stitches on the back now her jacket is kind of like a heavier material compared to her dress and moving along here but it, it is nice it is nicely done it fits her just right uh, and she got that calculator watch that is prominent in the 80s did i had one back growing up i believe so i don't remember anymore but i believe i did have one as well and let's go into the head sculpt now three zero is not known for having a good head sculpt especially in humans but this one i would say it is pretty nice now this is i chose to use this because it, it resembles that head sculpt that i showed you it's a little soft uh you know th they could have used a nice transition from the forehead to the hair because it looks like the corners the edges are a little bit sharp as far as paint application but overall it is not terrible i would say that um with this head sculpt again i would have liked to end this head sculpt with the hair and not a little bit of flesh so it looks seamless but and also on the jawline which again they did not do uh but overall i am not it's i'm not disappointed three zero can do head sculpts that is comparable to hot toys 
but they can also do head sculpts that are kind of questionable at best. This is what prevents me from completing a line from 3-0, because at one hand, they would create a Jamie Lannister that is a Hot Toys quality figure, and then they would come up with a Sansa Stark that looks like, man, what happened here? You know, but with this, it looks nice, and I'm fairly convinced that this is the same head sculpt as the default one, which I'm gonna show you right here. Uh, they look pretty much the same, but the eyes, if you see the eyes of the bleeding nose one, they created this, because she's meant, this is meant to, so you can tilt the head down and she's kind of looking up. But other than that, that's the only, with, along with the nosebleed, that's the only difference that I can see here. No expression change or anything. Articulation wise, all right, so the head can move up and down. Uh, the Actually, the hands are seamless, like the, her arms. So as you can see here, there's, it's really a double jointed because of the rubber would rebound back to its original form. The legs can kick pretty high. Uh, there's no, she's wearing a skirt double jointed knee i don't i probably could have gotten away without a double jointed knee to be honest with you maybe single jointed because double jointed there's no reason for her to kneel or anything like that so that's kind of questionable uh the arms are separated as well so you can move the arms forward or 360 if needed be but yeah pretty good articulation overall for the figure now let's go to some poses here and this is if you google her this is kind of like the backdrop that you'll see for the most part. And um, it's it's nice outside. I mean, if you look at the bottom part, which is her knee, she looks robotic there. But if you just ignore that, it is looking pretty good. I wouldn't I wouldn't classify this, you know, as a like, quote unquote, hot toys. And now she's sitting on a couch, which I got from um, what do you call this uh vince vega from star ace so this is kind of like they're in a home of will and you got all this stuff going on uh but yeah i, I she can sit down it's pretty cool because her legs have a lot of articulation forgot to fix her uh skirt there but nothing showing okay so but yeah i mean she's holding the ego deciding whether she's gonna eat it or not and now she's in a hospital uh using her powers so as you can see here seamless elbows so that's cool however uh she has that 11 tattoo on her wrist as well the um i wish it would have been a seamless transition to the wrist but that is hard to do you can only do that if you can swap the actual arms that's i think which they should have done and now i'm just looking at a, a high comparison here because she's a teenage kid and and rightfully so i compare it to another 3-0 figure which is Rambo from Rambo 1 and as you can see she is a lot shorter uh in here because she was she was a kid I don't I think she was like I don't know how old she was when this was done but it gives you a nice height comparison they're all in the same crotch grabber base so if you wanted to buy this and you want to use the body for a kit bash for let's say x23 or some or Laura at least you have an idea here of what you're working with Final thoughts on this figure. Well, I do love Stranger Things. And what a good way to have something represent that TV show, Then Eleven, and maybe Demogorgon as well. I'm planning to buy that down the line if it hits in a price point that I'm comfortable with. Now, Eleven is not perfect. This is not the best figure that you would ever own. Probably not even in the top 50. But the price reflects that as well. It's not an expensive figure with this kind of pose, like what I'm showing you right now. It is not bad. It's not a horrible figure. It's also not the best figure. If you're not comfortable uh, paying 170 for her, I would understand that. You can wait for a sale, which has happened now with this figure has been released for what, like eight months or so. Now they're going to come out with the rest of the gang, which is pretty cool. But again, like I mentioned earlier, this is 3-0 we're talking about, so there's no guarantees that you are gonna like the rest of the gang. So keep that in mind. But so far from what I've seen, I do like Demogorgon and Eleven. So for me, I'm gonna get those two, gonna decide on the rest of the kids later on, even, you know, maybe if they hit a specific price point, 
maybe I'll try to buy some of them, but I don't feel that I need to complete them, if that makes sense. But so far, I am happy with this figure with how much I paid for, and and I think it's 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 a good it's a good buy. So let me know in the comments, are you planning to buy this or this is a no-no for you because of the quality and all that stuff, because of the head sculpt, the knee. Thank you for watching, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.